I don't know, I guess as far as your understanding of fractions, mixed numbers is helpful. But um, as far as operations with fractions, we're always going to want to convert our improper fraction into a mixed number. So to do that, I'll just do this to the side. When converting that, you take your denominator, multiply it by the whole number, and then add it to the numerator. Okay? So 7 times 3 is 21, plus 2 is 23. Then the denominator, though, remains the same. All right? And I can show you guys with little pictures if you want me to, to explain it in a different way. But basically, if you guys can just remember, I mean, it's just a kind of a little circle thing that I think is a little bit easier. And I mean, instead of going through diagrams of fractions to show you why that works. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm adding 3 fourths plus 23 sevenths. And again, this brings up a big flag. Because remember, I, I trained myself when adding and subtracting, we have to have common denominators. And this is one of the reasons why people hate adding and subtracting fractions, because it takes a little bit extra work, right? So now we need to determine what is the common denominator of 4 and 7. What is the smallest number that they both divide into? And so you can think about just do the multiples in your head. Um, a lot of people, what they like to do is just multiply 7 times 4. When you multiply 7 times 4, you're automatically going to get 28, right? Um, which we know is a common multiple, but is that the least common multiple? So you think about all the multiples of 7, and yeah, actually, you know what? That ends up being the least common multiple. So to get these to both to be 28, which is your common multiple, what you look for? Oh, oh stay, there's one right behind the thing. So what I'm going to have to do is multiply here by 7 over 7, and here 4 over 4. All right. Again, the reason why I'm multiplying over um, over the same is I need to produce an equivalent equation. All right. Whenever you're multiplying fractions and to get to get them to become denominators, you have to multiply the same on the top and the bottom to produce an equivalent equation or equivalent fraction. So I just multiply seven times three is twenty-one over twenty-eight plus twenty-three times four. Um, obviously, guys, that goes back into our fractions, right? Let's pretend you don't have your calculator. You guys can easily just do this, right? Now that we've been practicing all that, if you can't do it in your head, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 92, right? Because we're practicing not having our calculator. So if you can't do it in your head, just go back to our multiplication algorithm that we've been practicing. So that becomes 92 over 28. Now I have common denominators. Right? And again, I'm just using this because I want, even though I do this in your head, I just want to make sure you guys are all aware. Again, reminding, I'm trying to bring back, trying to circle around remembering how we can add without this calculator. Don't, you know, when you, especially when you guys are taking the test without a calculator, you can do it in your head, but, you know, it's also just helpful, you know, to check your work when you don't have a calculator. 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 9 is 11. So that's going to be 113 divided by 28. Cool? OK. You guys want a hard subtracting or 